this the year, this the year I make my ways. This the year, this the year, this the year of ventilate. Lately, my smoke cycle chains burn the grass to many snakes. Now it's shallow, west of page. Fuck your lemons, I want lemonade. Are we starting off this fucking podcast or are we starting off this fucking podcast? Yeah, before we do, let's double check the. What is it? Is it AB? AB is it for? Mm, right now? <laughs> or just historically? I'm almost positive he's 84 with the. Uh, no, he's 81 now, but no, I thought he was 84 with the, with the Steelers. Yeah, he probably was. I think so. Yeah, he was 84. Dude, he was 17 for a little bit. How funny. Yeah, the one game, the <laughs> one, two. His story career doesn't think <laughs> true. <laughs> the one game where they fucking murked us. Was, uh, oh, there you go. Oh, are you getting all the 84s? Well, there's the most important one. Most important 84? No, no I told you it was 88. <laughs> um, that's a tough one. The most important one. This is the most important the 84. The one that makes us, the, the one that gives us Viagra. It's the, ladies and gentlemen, episode 84 of the Banterheads is brought to you by... The GOAT, Randy Moss. Oh, Vikings. Yes, of course. Minnesota, Randy, bro. Let's go. Yeah, man. He was fucking sick. And maybe, and you know what? Steelers AB. Because there's always some AB action yeah, going on in this true. world. Um, the guy makes the news every other week, it seems. Ah, oh, man. Dude. <laughs> it's going to be so funny he got snitched on by his fucking chef. Dude, that's petty. Like, imagine how, first of all... Like, if I was pulling some shit like that, I would try to keep that as tight. Oh, hush, hush, for sure. Like, <laughs> so like, he obviously trusted, but that's so fun. What, what did he... What, I, fine, I'm gonna fucking out you as a liar. Yeah, what, what do you think caused this chef to just come out against him? Did, did AB, like, shit on his cooking, or, like, <laughs> did, did he not pay him right? Nah, so, he, definitely, he definitely, like, the... the, the the chef was cooking, whatever, everything was chilling, and it smells like shit. <laughs> no, all, all of a sudden he just feels something on his back, and he looks, and it's jizz. Amy spooked a nut on his back. <laughs> that's his thing. That's his thing. He likes it to be so un- un- unsuspecting. Amy just unties his apron with his cock. <laughs> you know? With his mask, like he, on. he slides it right behind, right behind the fucking the little knot. I was like, damn, what is that? I don't remember putting a knife back there. <laughs> Dude, that's what it hilarious. Is that my chef's knife? <laughs> oh my god, what a lunatic, bro. Nah, I mean, honestly, like, this is the, the reason why I was, like, super excited about the AB vaccine news is because I want to. This is gonna see. be a new thing. Well, of course. I hope we get all of them because it's gonna be so be, funny. Just gonna keep coming out, like, loose lips to sink ship this baby. Jerry like, Jones hasn't been <laughs> vaccinated. Oh my god, our coach, yeah, like, John Green would have been. Would have been crucified. Oh my god, that reminds me. Did you saw how he sued the NFL and Roger? Yeah. I wonder if like anything happens with that. Cause, cause you know Roger hated him, but like, bro, you gave him like the worst like ammo <laughs> possible. <laughs> You know, I don't know. I mean, I just wanted to see with the AB stuff, like really how, like, cause bro, Aaron Rodgers did the same thing. Yeah, yeah, Aaron and Rodgers. They did. find him less than they find fucking CDs for the, the fine was so shirt. Weird, bro, like. 14k you would think that that would be like a 200k fine like okay you you know yeah this shit's weird that's because aaron said that he didn't get it because he's allergic to like one of the main ingredients of the vaccine and like the cdc literally says if you're allergic don't get it no of course so, like, i mean that's fine but apparently you gotta like like he lied and told him he was like no i know he, he said he got it and then that wasn't true but like I don't know, man. Like, if you're Andy Rogers, you should have just, like, came up to them before the season started and been like, look. Yeah, like, fucking well, allergic to this. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm willing to. No, I mean, granted. You know, if I gotta wear Now he just needs to wear a mask. <laughs> like, they gave him, you like, the Golden Boy Jr. I didn't even remember the last time I saw a mask. Uh, no, I saw one today. I, I, see, <laughs> one, I see one every, like, fucking time I go out, honestly. Yeah, Not, like, there. a plethora, but you always see someone wearing a mask. And I was like, okay, well. Yeah, I guess. I mean, here in Miami, like, if you're really going out, like, and you feel the need to have a mask, like, out at, like, a club or something, like... Dude, why even go out? Just fucking, yeah, go yeah, out. I don't know. Like, I understand, like, if you're in an Uber, like, okay... Yeah, if, if the mask is required yeah. of you, of course. Granted, yeah. <laughs> there's been plenty of times where I've been like, 
Well, we don't have masks, we're gonna, and we still need the Zubers, so... LET US IN YOUR FUCKING CAR! <laughs> no, they never, they, they, they don't even, it's not a thing anymore. Oh, we gotta wear a mask? How about I drive? I need a fucking <laughs> GTA. <laughs> Get lost, loser. <laughs> this is my car now, bitch. No, the real issue is, uh, uh is that they don't let someone in the front. Nah, oh. some, like some of them, like I would say 50% of Uber drivers, bro, like on the way to three points, and dude, that's a long ride from like Kendall to Wynwood. Yeah, for sure. Three of us. Three big dudes. Like imagine it was me, you, and like, another guy, you know? Another guy, another big guy. And he's got us in the back of a fucking Toyota Corolla? Oh my Brother. god. Who, who, did you get the middle seat? <laughs> I actually think I was in the middle Oh, that's the worst. And I, I was the biggest one there. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> My legs are killing me. Yeah, that no, no, was like, so bad. Oh great! Now we gotta stand for five for fucking twelve hours. No, great. Oh great! Now the Uber has the partition up. Okay. <laughs> okay. We were just talking. That's what it's gonna become. Uber chauffeurs. Yeah. Oh man, it's tough. Wow. But yeah, I mean, maybe okay. You get the pass, but 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 uh. That's so funny. You know who is low key not getting the passes? Seth Rogen, man. You know, I thought you were Mr. Stoner. Is this really a big deal? <laughs> like, the, you think it's a big a deal? A $600 rolling, tr uh, rolling tray? What did you expect the price of the tray to be? Dude, I mean, come on. No, no, no. Just like, what did you expect the I mean, price to be? You look at it and you say, okay, look, it's like pretty quality. I don't like, think it was going to be less than 100 Yeah, but max, I would think like 150 or something. 150 I was going to say like... Like two fifty, three hundred dollars. Just because you get the grinder, you get like all these little fucking ceramic knickknacks. It's like he's nah, probably gonna. That, but like, Jesus but five hundred wasn't the standard. To entry there. Yeah, no, Ooh. a lot of the a lot of the shit is kind of pricey. You're supposed to be the everyman. Yeah. Is that what happens once you go on GQ? You just like you're high beast now. Bro, you're skinny now. Bro. You're Virgil. Yeah. When you're skinny like that, bro, <laughs> bro, you 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 call the shots, bro. You know, if he was fat, he'd be getting canceled right now for that rolling. Yeah, you know, I'm really as, you know, as a non-skinny individual, I, I, it hurts, man. It hurts to see Seth go from typecasted as the ugly guy to now all of a sudden, like, all the bitches are like, oh my god, That's no way. What what's uh what's this website called? The products? Do you remember? I don't even know. But, but I did send. I'm pretty sure I sent it to. Yeah yeah no I had like an early subscription because I wanted to buy the fucking tray. I thought it was sick, and then I saw five hundred. I was like, X on the website. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm fucking gone, bro. My problem is not okay. Whatever, like. You can sell whatever the fuck you want. Obviously, at the end of the day, like yeah, like nobody's selling you. We're not anyone's dad here. But, you know, 600 bucks for the culture, it's just that, that ain't for the culture. Anymore. Yeah, there should have been, like, a broke man's fucking, like, rolling trip. Yeah. Or, like, some other option, bro. A happy medium. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a goddamn happy medium. Everyone sells weed now. It's fucking, this is America. Isn't it crazy? That's, like, the go-to business. Just sell weed. Fucking Joey. I would love to see some of Joey's kush live and in living color. <laughs> Joey did? Yeah, bro. Dude. The fucking Mad Flavor World shit. It's like him with a gas mask as the photo or something. Oh, yeah, 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 For sure. It looks insane. No, it does, it does. Uh, car lighter? How much is that thing? <laughs> the car lighter. It's a car lighter. It's 280, and it doesn't go in your car. It's supposed to be, like, something on top of your fucking, like, cabinet. And then, boop, there's the lighter. <laughs> That's 280. <laughs> that little thing. <laughs> Are you kidding? Look up the car lighter on Houseplant or That's House Goods. Sad. Houseplant. It's like it's basically the car lighter, but I mean, I guess what it probably burns a certain way. Like, I mean, I guess it's good if you're like smoking cigarettes and you want cancer in the house. <laughs> like, nah, you could use that for like a J or something. Yeah. <laughs> right? You could. I mean... I don't know. The style of lighter we loved, and the reason we loved it was because it was conveniently in your car, and you're just... And as you're in someone, if you're chilling down the crib, and you're like, oh, you got a lighter, and you present they it, they this fucking... block of fragrance, this fragrance-looking thing. <laughs> it's like, shit. Fuck that, bro. It's like, nah, bro, no bitch. Nah, get your bitch out of my face, bro. Don't wait, wait, wait. A face. regular lighter? Nah, let's make it a bottle. No way. And not even... Come on. Zippo, nope, doesn't work for me. Matches, nah, get out of my face. Yeah, like some of these things, yeah, like yeah, four eighty five, the all in one rolling tray, like dog. The lava like, must be nice having a fucking lamp for four hundred twenty five dollars. 
Is it come with a kid too? Yo, like, prices that, are crazy. That's giving me the fucking Waybox uh, shit where it was like, oh, you pay like fifteen thousand dollars for a cabin and like, <laughs> yeah. what is this? Like some sex yeah. trafficking or some shit? Like, oh my God. dog. It must come with like a couple pounds of coke. Yeah, better come with a fucking arm to jerk me. Straight up, <laughs> I need a fucking <laughs> two arms. One to stroke me and the other one to roll my shit. Yeah, like. <laughs> Uh, one that's capable of doing it like Rogan did. Like, <laughs> dude, he was so quick with it. It was actually impressive. But... Oh, dude, of course. I mean, I feel like this only goes in like the Kardashians' crib and like Trey probably has one. Like, you're pricing out the, you're pricing out your real clientele. Michael B. Jordan got it. Like, like someone said, oh, I'd rather just spend four hundred eighty-five dollars on Kush. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> You know? <laughs> it's so crazy, man. What a price. <laughs> I was so sad when I saw it. I was like... But anyway, it's on my Christmas list. I'm not list. even... <laughs> Imagine. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Little... Oh. Imagine being a kid. I guess being like, get me a Seth Rogen Astro. That's $500. And the parents are like, you don't want a console? Like, the PS5 is finally in oh stock. You could get that. It's 400 and we'll, we could get you, like, two games. the price of a PS5. <laughs> that means you don't want a fucking... Yeah! <laughs> That's it. You lost me. <laughs> oh my God. It sold out, too, of course. Ah, oh, that's crazy. Y'all are some hype beast motherfuckers. That's all I'm going to say. And all the colors. What color did you like? Did he go through? Oh, I wouldn't even... Oh, dude, I love this color. This yeah, color with cool. the OG was sick. But you can just get a regular rolling tray that, with those yeah, colors. Yeah, for, for, for 50 I feel dollars. like the best thing about this tray was the grinder. It's sold a fucking grinder for like... 300. <laughs> I don't think about it. Oh, dude. You saw it? It was like some caveman shit. He just puts the weed in and like, like, like he was trying to start a fucking fire. Yeah, it was giving me like, I was like, okay. You like rub that cush down. Yeah. You gotta rub it down. Oh, my God, dude. Crazy. Good God, man. The ladies, oh. man, they love, they love the random, they, they love random things. They love Seth Rogen once he got skinny and became, you know, GQ. And apparently, fucking Pete Davidson just has the biggest cock on earth. Like, there's no other way. Bro. How, this, this doesn't make sense to me. He's a goat. I don't want to hear it. it it's, a, it's on a fucking Derek Jeter, like... Type love. Now, is he like the gift, is it like instead of like the throat goat? Is he like the the gift throat goat or like this? He's, he's, he's a dick goat? slinger, bro. <laughs> he's the SNL dick slinger. He slings peen like a lasso. Is that it? He, like, dude, he must. He must. I, I don't know. Dude, how do you bag <laughs> Ariana Grande at one point in your life? Kill Mac <laughs> in the process, mind you. We lost an icon, a legend. A legend. And now he's going after Kanye too, my man. Dude, and it's just like once the rumors started popping, I was like, "This is probably legit," which is crazy because I just watched Ye talk about like how him and Cam are still married. Technically and shit. married. Technically yeah. married on how. Dude, uh, that's adultery. That's strength champs. Like fuck, bro. Yeah, they were just holding hands. It wasn't even like the fucking. Uh, Cause they first appeared on the fucking car ride in Disney or some shit, like some fucking. <laughs> Like ride whatever, and it's like okay, well they're at wherever. I mean, come on. All right. Oh, now he's at Chris Jenner's house in PJs, and they're all in PJs. What's going on What's here? There? Wait, so now are the Kardashians back on the white side after after Astroworld? Bro, is that it? Chris is in overdrive right now. Chris needs to do so much shit for Kylie and Trav. She's like okay. She's Pete the real, She's Satan. <laughs> Nobody works harder. Nobody works harder. If anyone in Hollywood's actually satanic, it would be Chris. Yeah, for sure. Chris, come on. I know you want to do that sex tape. Hit me up. She's not a double worshiper. She's the devil. <laughs> yeah, and everyone else worships her. 66 year old. And I think when she turns 69, everyone's just going to stop in the streets and just have sex. Everyone on earth is just going to yeah, stop. She's really 66. That's crazy. <laughs> what, what's crazy about it? She looks good for 66, bro. Like, you gotta give it to her. Yeah, dude, she looks good for 66, but I mean, she's in the biz, dog. She's in the biz where a $500 rolling tray is nothing. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'm gonna sell my soul. Like, fuck that. <laughs> I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess because. You're listening. Help! Yo, I Come will down. 100% become an island boy. Bro, no you won't. <laughs> 
Bro, if I was presenting... Bro, you me called an island boy. That's already... Just go get five face tats and fucking Kodak Blackify your hair. Let's get the fucking... Dude, and start singing Ting a lot. <laughs> like fucking... I'm an island like boy. Fucking Chet Hanks. Bro. With my island tings. Dude, and by the way, I did not know that Chet Hanks wasn't... Uh, wasn't Curb? Like Curb. I don't know. That I honestly did. pissed me off a little. Really? <laughs> I was like, this lucky bastard. No, he was pretty good at it. It wasn't bad. No, dude... You know when I was like, okay, he's actually not like terrible when they were in the fucking reenactment. <laughs> yeah, no, that and was like, hilarious. Shit, like he was playing like a, no, that was a soldier with he PTSD. Was going crazy. Oh my god, that was that was fucking good. <laughs> that was so funny. Did you are you caught up yet? Yes, sir. Bro, that last episode with the fucking Ku Klux Klan. Oh <laughs> fucking bro. That was honestly kind of hard to watch. I was like, I wasn't even enjoying myself. I was like, that. yo, he's really going for it. With and the watermelon movie. thing. Oh, my I'm God. Yeah, the yeah, uh, watermelon was like, I don't know about this bit. Like, okay, it's funny, but it, <laughs> how are you going to go back to back with these? <laughs> you will just touch <laughs> anything, man. Yeah, no. Like, the, That's our goat right there. Dude, and when, uh, what's his name? Harrelson and Woody? Woody Harrelson? When he's like, oh, I, I dropped a grape? And then <laughs> slams <laughs> the grape on the ground? I was like, this is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah, man. Nah, I, and the thing I love about that show is that it really does a great job of, like, just touching on all the little fucking things that happen, like, and the, like, yeah. little, like unwritten rules and... Dude, it's all he said, she said. It's fucking hilarious. The little, like, aspects of life that are just, like, mundane, you know, and kind of gets a box. And, like, I wonder if he really is like that in real life where he just has, like, zero filter at all. Uh, yeah, that's the There's best. no way. There's, There's no, no way. That no, he, he, dude, it goes, yeah, it can't be to that extent because he's so insane on the show. Everyone he's a lunatic on the show. Him. Oh, my God, in the show he's doing now? What's the show he's doing now? The young, oh, no, no, like in the show. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, the yeah. The young Larry shit. Yeah, and, um, Bro, I forgot what his name is. That Brian. Hispanic girl is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when she's fighting with uh with his ex-wife. <laughs> Cheryl, dude. Cheryl. Everyone, you guys gotta watch the show. It's, it's a must watch. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. I mean, I had been meaning to, and bro, the funny part was that, oh, well, we'll save that, but... Something like curb related happened, and then dude, the second I started watching it again, because I'd seen the first season and I was like kind of cold on it. Dude, the second I started watching it, it's like, oh my god, dude, yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah. perfect. It's exactly what, especially in today's day and age with everything going on, the fact that shit that was released in 2001 literally feels like it was only a few years ago like it doesn't yeah, feel that dated bro it's it insane. does not it doesn't feel out of touch in that way at all like it's it's really impressive man to have two shows like that like Seinfeld and then follow it up with Curb and yeah, it's holy both, shit, like, dude. and also all the guest stars are fucking unreal oh like, yeah amazing Marvel makes it yeah you know? yeah yeah it's crazy it's super like, good and also dude fucking I'd be remiss to not mention that fucking uh, what's this guy's name oh JB Smooth is is fucking hilarious, so funny, dude. dude. So fucking funny. I gotta go and like figure out what other shit he's he's done, cause he's just too funny, bro. Dude, I think he was in something that I wanted to watch, but I I mean, I've definitely he's... seen him in a bunch of stuff, but I always kind of thought he was like a little annoying. But his character in this is just in Curve is just fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> oh, Hall Pass. That's the one that, that I saw him, and that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That was good. I know. I think it was television. It's gotta be TV, right? Yeah, damn, he was in Castle? I don't, I don't remember that. Hmm. I don't think... Oh, I, I do remember watching the stand-up. I'm thinking it was actually pretty solid. Damn, that's crazy. Holy so, like, shit, this dude's fucking... Yeah, he does... He's got episodes here and there, but I guess the only show he's been, like, a regular on was... Wow. He's Kurt, right? Uh, yeah, it seems like... Man, it. that's insane. He's always, like, doing guest spots, you know? Dude, that's, like, in and out. He's probably living the life. Wait, is he in Spider-Man? Spider-Man? Far from home. Oh shit, Julius Dell. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh, bro. I don't remember that at all. No, I said he's in the next one. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Nah, dude. What a clean, clean. No, nah, actually, before we move on, so what did you? But at least, what did you think of Kim wearing the the Yeezys on the date though? <laughs> 
Yo. If I was yay. That's like some get out vibes almost. Like, if I, just, I was yay, I'd take back all my fucking merch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what that, the fuck? That's kind of it's like super disrespectful, right? Isn't here's it? the thing: she's she's like even after the breakup, she's been wearing the shit. So it seems like she still shows him love in that way. Oh, of course, I mean she posts but, screenshots of his shit on yeah, yeah, on, on yeah. no she, volume. Yeah, yeah. She's always whatever, but to to just be out and about with like the rebound wearing them is kind of like oh shit, <laughs> you know? It's like damn, I don't. You didn't have any other like <laughs> shoes you could have without today. Like those were the ones. How does it always end up that it's Pete though? I just don't get it. Is he is he like the universal Bro, rebound like, guy? He must just be like the coolest motherfucker ever, <laughs> and he just looks like shit. You know. <laughs> I mean, dude, that, that's, well, his, that's his thing. You know, you can't hate on his his comedy and shit or whatever no but yeah he, but like he's funny that level though what is he like six fucking he, you know he's tall he's gotta be like six three or something that motherfucker looks lanky as shit well yeah I mean if he was five yeah, ten six, he'd, three, if bro. he was five ten he'd still look lanky that's fucking a skeleton looking ass motherfucker yeah dude she's dating Skeletor <laughs> what a lucky bastard bro but and dude, then um, I'm funny man Jesus Christ Oh, is this the... This is his roll call? Bro, they just love the... <laughs> <laughs> Carly... Who's this? I mean, she seems like... She's fucking pretty. Or... Yeah, I'm sure... Like, any fucking fans... Ariana was really what took... Yeah, dude, that's right. When he was... Pete Beckinsale. That's a fucking major one, bro. I feel like he's gotten to a point... You know what, also what it is? He's gotten to the point where he's dated so many uberly famous chicks. Like, you know how, like... Famous girls kind of end up with like rappers, like Karuchi, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. He's like that. He's just a male virgin, a virgin, you know. So he's, he's like, like he's like Amber Rose. Yeah, he's but like, like a male, a male actor. actor. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he is. He doesn't have like a big tits and ass, but he's slanging the fucking. No, car. I mean, if, if whenever Ariana Grande says nice dick about someone. <laughs> That's usually and then and then this motherfucker goes on, on the special is like dude it's just average or whatever oh and, and then bitch is like he's lying and like you know six three bony dudes is like are everyone's every girl's favorite guy is like a six three bone look at this guy bone bro. job <laughs> look at this fucking guy <laughs> <laughs> the... look how he's dressed bro he's dressed like Lil Wayne with the one pan leg up it's That's fucking the, he's, hilarious he's not hot he's tall <laughs> so funny, dude. Hilarious. Dude, I want to see him get, like, some type of tattoo about Kim Kardashian. Oh, God. Yeah, that's the thing. That that fucking... Those Ariana Grande oh, tattoos were just, like, awkward. In fact, at the time, he had no reputation of this, you know? Yeah, that was before he was, like, slanging. <laughs> you know, people yeah, were like, what is it about hard. Pete? There's something there, but nobody knows, you know? Why, why is Ariana dating him? And I was like, bro, everyone wants to date him, dude. After this, you know this isn't going to last with Kim. After this, bro, it's it's dude, we'll do it's, anything it's, to get it's fucking, Eskimo bros list. It's anything. literally Kobe's last season, just, like, everyone's just, like... This guy's gonna. <laughs> He's gonna go through every city. Bitch is just gonna be lining up. It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be nuts. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna shut down fucking uh, Magic City, bro. That's it. All of it. Dude, the strippers of Magic City are gonna be throwing gonna, ones at him. They're gonna have to quit their jobs for him, dude. Straight up. <laughs> Or if they're not throwing the ones at him, he's just gonna be the pole. He's just gonna be the skinny blanket <laughs> pole. And then, <laughs> the, Bro, imagine being on this guy's entourage or some shit. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> the entourage. <laughs> yeah, like imagine what gets past to you. Yeah, you need a turtle. Is that it, Pete? We got two right here. <laughs> imagine what gets past to you. That's so funny, bro. Dude, um. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. He's living the life, dude. <laughs> he's 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 gonna the the only two he needs now are the eternal baddies, fucking <sighs> Sama Hayek and Angelina Jolie. Nah, I be bro. What? <laughs> I'll jump off a building and I was gonna say J Lo. I was gonna say J Lo. No, nah, I'm just saying eternal like, because they're in eternal. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah. 
Yeah, shout out Pete, bro. He's living life. He, yeah. He's living the life. I can't even hate him. Enjoy it. You know what I can't hate, though? King fucking Stan Eternals. Yeah, Eternals is not. That's what I can dude. fucking hate. That movie sucks. This shit shot on fucking Eternals. Shane Yo. T shot on Eternals. First of all, the movie's Eternal. The longest fucking movie ever. Yeah. Like, God. And eternally painful. Bro, who was he? Like, what was it about it? I don't know. I just, I was not I, I enthralled was, at all. I was trying to figure that out too myself. Besides I, it being long. I mean, it was obviously too long, but I just think that, like, I, I feel felt forced, dude. That, because we still have yet to see how it adds to the story, but also, I feel like there wasn't really a character that you were drawn to where you're like, oh, I really like that fucking... Like, the, the lead actress, she was sick, Angelina, like, they were all cool, but nothing was like, oh, shit, this is, like, that fucking, like, yeah, no, there was nothing, I mean, know? I don't know, and the story was just, like, not compelling at all, it was just overall, it was just a boring movie, and yeah, there was some good action scenes, and the CGI was good and stuff, but, like, but that's a given with Marvel, so it's, like, yeah, there was something within the story where it just wasn't, like, whatever, it was just off, dude, I don't know. yeah, Maybe it was the casting. I don't know. No, I think that the, the problem is that, okay, it's obviously different when you have, like, for something like Avengers, especially the later ones, obviously they're bringing a cast of 20 or 30 superheroes or whatever. Yeah. But, like, I feel like the starting a movie, like, or starting, like, a, a series with, like, this fucking ensemble cast of 10 people, like, it's just, it, it like, it rarely ever works. Or, like, it, I mean, I can't even think of an example where you, it didn't work like that. Not like you say, like, I, I I feel like you were the one who told me this, but, like, with Justice League, the original movie that came out, like, you, you were saying how it didn't allow the characters to flesh out their story. Oh, yeah, at all, and, yeah. and for this one, it didn't really, like, a few kind of got, like, Salma and Cersei... <laughs> Which is like pick a different fucking name oh, if you're gonna good. pair her with fucking Jon Snow, and, you fucks. <laughs> and Richard Madden. No, there was too much. Yeah, yeah. the Thronesy vibes were kind of killing up, killing me too. It was like. Yeah, and then he pulls out a what well, spoiler post credit scene. He pulls out a fucking sword. It's like, what are we doing, bro? Is it is it the We the North time? Yeah, and they had to bring in Harry Styles. That was another one where it was like. <sighs> I know he's acting now, but has he been in something like I like actually fucking I don't know crazy? <laughs> I don't fucking know anything about it, bro. I hate Harry Styles. Really? <laughs> I just don't give a fuck about him. Yeah, no, I agree with you there. Like I don't care about him for sure. Like I'm sorry, if you're a part of One Direction, I don't give a shit about you. And that's okay. Not even Zion? Zane? Oh, Zane? Fucking... Fuck, man. The guy said All right, let's redo too. that. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. I thought there was something about him having... Oh, my God. He had beef with the uh, Gigi's shit. mom or some shit. No way. This guy was in Dunkirk. That's what I'm saying. He's been in... Like, he's doing shit now. Fucking Christopher Nolan started that guy's career. Kill me. That was it. Christopher fucking Nolan did it. God, man. You white people, dude. You guys are all... You guys are all two together for my taste. I'm not liking it. <laughs> What are you guys trying to start over there? <laughs> you couldn't have thought of anyone else besides Harry Styles to come and be in this movie. There's a fucking billion great actors in this world, but no. You gotta go to the One Direction world. Yeah, they, they could have gotten like Kyle, right? Which Kyle? Rhythm House. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the fuck out of here. You were talking about great acting. <laughs> no, I said great acting, bro. Not fucking garbage acting. No big Actually, cry. he's right there with Harry. Yeah, that cry. What the fuck was that, bro? By the way, we obviously <laughs> fucking hate Kyle Rittenhouse, and we obviously think that this fucking sentence was bullshit or whatever, or lack thereof. I just don't know how, like, you show up to a fucking protest with an AK and don't get locked up just for that. Dude, I know. Just for being a moron. I know if I did exactly what he did, I would have been crucified in the street. <laughs> Oh, yeah, like, like, they literally would have put me on the cross like Jesus and this made me rot there. They were saying it was self-defense or something. Me, I dude. didn't I don't care enough to look into it because like that guy's a fucking idiot, so you cross state lines underage with a gun that you obviously don't have. What fun. are you doing with an assault rifle? Kill yourself with said rifle. Like what is it anyone like, like in the on this so side of, of on this side of the SWAT team, why do you have an assault rifle in the first place? An AR-15. Dog, what is this? Fucking Vanguard? How do you not get locked up just for that? <laughs> yeah, like, come on, like, bro. 
not guilty. I'm locking you up because you're a fucking moron. Like, right? Like, at least fucking... I don't know, dude. That shit is... Yeah, that's brutal. I can't even... Oh, you saw Harry Styles has a slogan, treat people with ca- kindness? He started that. <laughs> he started it. <laughs> He's talking about yeah, I think this is like some viral... <laughs> what do you mean, dude? You see that all the time? No. All the time on Instagram, you see, treat people with kindness. Oh, my God. How funny. TTWK. It's even better than WWJD. <laughs> Treat people with kindness. Here in America, well, we treat people with kindness. You can bring an AR-15 and kill someone. What would Jesus do? No, what would Harry do? <laughs> <laughs> you know there's people around the world who are like, hmm, wait a second. Would Harry rock this fit? Hmm, what do you think Styles would think about it? <laughs> How does Styles be? <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Styles, Styles P? Are you Gucci? That's fucking ridiculous, man. Styles P. I feel like something happened with him recently, no? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but anyway, probably. since we are talking about things that happened <sighs> recently, God. rest in peace, Young Dolph. Yeah, man, that was... Dude, imagine his own city on your edge. You might have to be on the edge in your own city trying to get cookies. For his mom. No, but did you see the... Dude, it's crazy how Drink Champs has just been, like, in the mainstream lately. Did you see how Noriega, like, literally told him, like, yeah, don't... It was, like, in an interview months ago where he's like, oh, you still go to your city? He's like, nah, I got a spot, like, somewhere else, but I have, like, a place there in Memphis. He was like, oh, okay, good, just don't... Don't be there. And he was literally like, motherfuckers who come from, like, the same place you do and don't make it out, and you make it out, like, they will hate you. And they like, it's not love me, love me. It happened with fucking um, Dude, you Nipsey. See, Nipsey, X, like, you see it happen with like so many fucking rappers, man. It's really sad. Yeah, dude, you gotta, you have to, I don't know, man. And, and people are like, oh, like, I saw tweets and I was like, well, this is why you're gonna stay strapped. It's like, dude, he was literally firing back. Like, he was strapped. You can't do anything about it. You get a fucking shot, a lethal shot. Yeah, dead. exactly. Like, like Dude, imagine walking out the store with some cookies, or uh, some fucking cookies. And Kyle Rittenhouse comes up to you and loads on your chest. And this so fucking 17-year-old with an assault <laughs> rifle. In my defense, he took the last good cookie I wanted. Yeah. Right. Jesus Christ. That's, that's so sad, man. And dude, like, he was at one music fest. Dude, no, you literally shot him. I no, I wanted to. I just, oh, I, I, man, man. <laughs> you just made it. You just made it what it was. I was going along, didn't even think anything of it. That's dude. I hate. That's literally why I hate saying I shot or I'm going to shoot. Just because like somebody who doesn't know like I'm gonna I, shoot the Declaration of Independence. Like, <laughs> Man, but no, I, I just took some photos out of the crowd and dude, I watched a couple songs because I was going on to the next one where I know I, w- I like I knew I would get better pictures. Yeah. So I was gonna stay there to watch when I could get some content. Yeah, of course. But bro, and like the crowd, the crowd, the energy was nuts. Like he was killing it. It was, I, it was, I don't know, man. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, man, that's sad, dude. It's just like. Yeah, I. Uh, it's too. It's just too frequent these days, you know. It's like you gotta fucking. Cherish all of these artists that we fucking love and shit. Like, God, you gotta just fucking. Yeah, know. man. Like, but that's also why like, you can't be like in the mix with that shit, bro. Like in any way. You <laughs> Dude, know? I know. Like, it shouldn't be. I mean, granted, yeah. It's, it's not worth the like, street cred. You already made it. Get the fuck out. Like, go you know? Chief Keith, bro. <laughs> Did you see that we were like? That's why Chief Keith got in L.A. playing video games. <laughs> Like, bro, for real, man, it's sad. Dude, it's if I was sad. on like that in the rap game, no one would know where I live. Not even, like, no one besides the no, dude, you can't, tight circle. It's literally gotten to the point where you cannot <laughs> post stories of your location, your videos. You can't say, oh, I like going to this place. I like going to that place. You can't. Just don't. Nah, dude, before you bring a chick over, you gotta give it an ND, a non disclosure agreement and blindfold them so that I don't know where they're <laughs> <laughs> That's it. How else are you gonna? If not, everyone knows where you live. <laughs> That's what David Bowie does. Does he does? Nah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he was gonna say does a lot more than that. <laughs> Did you, you didn't see the sex tape? No. Oh, oh, that was of him with the dog leash. 
Oh, yeah. But the chair, yeah, that was weird. I don't know. It was weird to me, not because of the leaves, just because, like, he spat in her hair. Like, it wasn't on her face or in her mouth. Like, it was literally in her hair. I was like, I don't think she wants that. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're a predator. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you, but spitting in someone's hair, that's, like, the one place. Yo. <laughs> What? Like, no, she has to walk her hair down. Yeah. And if she doesn't, then she's roadside fucking garbage. Yeah, that was, that was weird. I don't know. Business Insider was trying to cancel him, <laughs> and then he gets caught back at him like, yo, y'all are fucking right enough. Dude, like, some hit I'm all for fetishes, but I, I think when you try to turn them into the juice on the side of the street from New, on New York City, like, that's, that's when it becomes a problem. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like... Like this fucking performer comes and pisses on this dude's face. Did you ever face. watch that video? You watched it. Right? I seen the video. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm fucking horrified, bro. Yeah, did you see the video? I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, am I not? Dog. Yo. Bro. Can we watch it again? Nah, I'm good, dude. Come on, guess what? We could get a live reaction. I've only seen it once and I was baffled. I, I've seen it once only, yeah. Because I wasn't down to watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> like, replay it wasn't hitting you know how it's like one of those things where people are like oh you know ah, maybe if you wanna, she wants to piss on me a little okay maybe maybe no it was nah uh, like, not like this first of all what is that fucking four gallons of water before that <laughs> Jesus yeah that, oh. that was not a squirt I haven't seen a stream like that in fucking years dude <laughs> that was like peak puberty me bro <laughs> <laughs> you know just that hormone piss yeah, yeah, like when you're waking up in the morning, piss. <laughs> With a rock hard cock, the fucking. Yeah, you can't even control board. where it goes, it's like a sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> Just hitting five different directions, you need like a. Yeah, I think it was low bubbles, right? The Kanye shit. Man, I know I said it, and motherfuckers were disgusting. <laughs> as, as they should. <laughs> Be. Who wouldn't be disgusted by that? Oh, no, 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 I must have been. Just it was this week, right? No, nah, it was last week. It was last week, really? Fuck. I think I saw it last Sunday or something. Or it was Maybe like. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Because cause, cause of copyright. So, right here, like, what did you think was happening? Do that. I, I, like, I still didn't know where it was gonna, like, take. And then I thought she was just gonna like oh sit on his god, face. Dude. That's what I thought was gonna She's happen. That'd be disgusting too. She pro- oh my god. Wait for it. Jesus, she was even, oh my she was god. even a little pee shot. Oh my god. Dude. Bro. What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> dude! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Look at dude, that. Those last and days. he loves it. He loves it. And then the, the guy on the guitar, he just jumps in the frame. He's like, yo, guitar solo after the piss solo. Brother. Oh, my God. How did he do? You see it splattering off his face? That's the he got waterboarded. Yeah, he was basically, did they have a, a towel over his face and everything? That looked like, that actually did look like a water. I think it would have been better, no? Like, dude. I bet, yeah, you like right. shout out that fucking dude water. there was one where it was like you know like when the sprinkler gets a little fucked up and then the water gets uneven and then it like it finally works and it hits that's what that was and it bounced off his yeah, face there was so much fucking liquid traveling and it just all went dude it bounced off his face dude i know i saw that score oh my god and then him just dude, going that, like this. that's uncalled for what what the fuck was that if i was at a show and someone did that i would have to go home dude like, that's one of those where the mood would just completely... You see her pulling her yeah, pants out like that, and she's got, like, this is just... I, I don't know. I, like, it's... <laughs> Zach Fox said, I'm going to be front row center with a funnel in my mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, look, at Father goes, I go to R&B shows if this is what I could expect. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you why. What, you're getting, like, pissed on by Summer Walker or some shit? Tiana Taylor, oh, res- no, respect to uh, Emma on Shumper. Yeah, he just won fucking Dancing with the Stars, bro. Did he? He's actually pretty nice. Man. Cool, more than he ever did on the fucking basketball court. 
<laughs> Yo, remember when he had a flat top in the in the Knicks? No, we loved him. Remember? Yeah, we loved him so much. I thought, dude, because defensively he was insane. He was like a seventy-seven. Athletically, he would dunk, and then he kind of hit three somewhat. You know, like man, sometimes. But like, damn, dog. Nah, dude. He yeah, doesn't no, have no. it. But hey, I mean, if he's chilling with fucking Tiana, then you're living life good. Yeah. I wonder. <laughs> you think Tiana has a stream like that? <laughs> yes. I would genuinely hope not. <laughs> because that is just. Wow, that was crazy, dude. Dude, that was. Wow. Insane. <laughs> yeah, like if you have a piss fetish, then you have problems. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't get the, the piss That's fetish. That's fucking gross. It, it is gross. I don't get it at all. Piss? <laughs> P, the PP, like piss. That shit really like out there, you read from? <laughs> oh god, <laughs> no, let's not take it there. Um, oh my god, you know where we should take it? Where? Take Overseas. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. I was gonna say the fucking Drake's house with Kanye. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> oh my god. So no way, it's back, huh? Drake isn't about it. What do you mean? You want to know how I can tell that Drake is not with it? Why? The way he's just been going about posting on his social media. Why? Would Jay you Prince and Kanye both posted out those photos outside of the crib to the gram, like on the grid, right? The Larry Hoover shit to the grid. Drake, 24-hour story. Like, I got to do this. I'm going to do it. Here you go. Doesn't live on the grid. I think he's not with it. He's just too... I mean, like, he is the pettiest person on the entire planet. So. But that's why, like, you gotta examine, like, this motherfucker's movements. Yeah, but know? I mean... I don't know, dude. I mean, I hope they are good, but, like, wait, yeah, I mean, you know, like... He had the fucking Astroworld photo up for four days after the Astroworld shit. Like, that motherfucker's obviously not moving that calculated. <laughs> yeah, but also, here's the problem with that. Leave it the next day. But you can't, because then you gotta say something. So like you gotta figure out what you're gonna say and then you gotta come with the reply and then get rid of it like no nah, that's because like, if you take it down where you're like yeah but if you celebrating the event kind of but if like, you take are, like, it down yeah, fucking son died there no I get it <laughs> it's not like he knew that but if he takes it down then people are gonna be like oh he took down the photos he thinks he's liable so he needs to say something oh, come on. he should have fucking ten minutes have your publicist whip up a fucking well post. he should have came in with it quicker I know yeah but, like you know. It is what it is. No, nah, man, he was too busy fucking uh, plotting on, on how he's going to get Kim K out of fucking Pete's arms. <laughs> Supposedly. And you know how, like, there was, a, there was some rumor about how it was for Astroworld? I think it was literally just because of lyrics where he's like, um, he goes, how to fuck a rapper's, uh, rapper's wife. She wasn't even my type, but I had to do the sacrifice. And then he goes, uh, open up her thighs. And he's like, he was about to go in. It sounded like he was about to fucking let loose. <laughs> I swear to God, this thing it sounded so gas. And that was supposedly supposed to live on the French Montana album. So but the splash release. is the splash the piss? Oh, that's a good point. What's the splash? The splash zone. <laughs> the blood no, is, this is so splashy. I, I think it's that's hard. Virtual blood. Cause, Cause it was like gonna be a sub and. No, nah, nah, there's no way. I don't know. It doesn't make sense as to why that wouldn't be. And if French's team was like, no, you know, we're not comfortable putting it up. Shut the fuck up, dog. Bro, the French's team is gonna suck they're fucking. Probably, yeah, they're drinking his piss. Oh, right yo, Noel's dick. Cock. Yeah, they're not even. What are they gonna say? No, you gotta make a new verse. <laughs> they're gonna be like, yo, shut the fuck up, French. You know? Uh, nah, but it still it didn't make sense to have a song called Flash Brothers with French Montana. <laughs> I think it's literally just because they look like similar and they party together or some <laughs> shit. Like, I don't know. It's so good. Oh. But Drake and French have done like a couple of tracks that were like No, solid. I feel you, but like yeah. Splash Brothers would be like Drake and fucking like Fuge or some shit. Like, like yeah. yeah, we don't miss. Yeah, like, that, that would be sick. Damn. Or some shit like that. I don't know. Damn, Splash Brothers would be huge. <laughs> with Mike Dean on production. Oh, That's the only oh, way. Bro, stop, stop. Fucking <laughs> sent me to death. Dead. Synth, sentence me to death. Bro, pull up the banter juice real quick. So, this is a perfect time to get into the Kyle Kuzma tweet. The amount of shade rappers throw at NBA players and their music is sickening. 
LOL. Oh my god, look, Benny the Butcher replied to it. Yeah, I admit this looked bad. We big, y'all up to we just inspired either way. I got a positive Kyle Kuzma bar on the way. <laughs> That's funny. The put show replies on that on the Kuzma one. Damn it. No, I guess click on the click on the um on the Benny on the Benny tweet. Like click on it. Mm. Um oh yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is. Conway the Machine. <laughs> oh, we fucked up his pack already. Nah, say word. He broke early in the season, Gordon Hayward. <laughs> I just did it. I just did it. I just No way. Dude, that's I fucking think... unreal. I gotta listen to this at some point. <laughs> that's the fucking loud, unreal. Beyond out of pocket. I love it. And dude, no, no, no. Go back to the other. Nah, I just wanted to find that one. Um, yeah, that's so funny. Now go back to the main thread. Oh my god. Is your mic on? My yeah. mic was off. But whatever. I just should get picked up. Um, so, scroll uh go to the main tweet right there. Which one? The this one or the No that one, that one. The coos. Alright, now now we can scroll through and actually see them all. Dude, that one's brutal. Oh yeah, my little black and ugly sh- shoe like Tony Snell. You a fucking rookie, Timothy Shoot, just like Ben Simmons. Bro, all the t- there's like four Ben Simmons lines. Keep going. Well, oh, that's but it's all about the same guy. Nah, I don't give right? a fuck about that one. Nah, the rest of them. What is it? <laughs> Hop in my bag. I know you thought I'd been it. You ain't shooting shit, Ben Simmons. <laughs> break the legs like Paul George. <laughs> Said I break the legs like Paul George. Dude, that's a hard one, bro. First of all, pop smoke, but... Dude, that injury was a rough one, remember? The, the Olympic one? The Olympic Dude, remember seeing it? Oh, this one's awesome. <laughs> Sad, baby. He got muscles for no reason. Eric Bledsoe. Get it? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, my yeah, that God. that one's a classic one. This is, fucking, guys. No, this is fire. Gun. It's what you do after the break. Bitch, I'm Draymond. <laughs> That's fire. And that was from one of the features. I don't even remember who. They call me foul. Bitch, my name Draymond. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. That one's epic, dude. There's so many good ones. Uh, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> He's scared to shoot like Ben Simmons. <laughs> we just checked his stats. Check his stats. Yeah. Dude, there's so many people with that one. I be fucking this NBA bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I remember yeah. him saying that. I was just like... Because you know I ain't never going to say shit. Dude, that's ridiculous, bro. Get no playing time, Kendrick Perkins. <laughs> that's right. Hey! Is. Isn't that Quavo, too? Or no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, it is Quavo. Quavo and all of And then what's that one? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the Dolph one. No way. Memphis, boy, oh, okay. Okay. You could call me Mike Conley. <laughs> That's fucking epic. No, oh, that's one of my favorites, bro. Yeah. Kendrick on all the radio. You want Marcus can be washed up. <laughs> Brother, you're lame. You're Shane Battier. Dude, I can't believe J. Cole had that on us. Rise and shine. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Derek Rose. Man, that nice. <laughs> 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 what is this? Jeer. What is this? John Livingston, you don't been on every team. <laughs> What's the point of saying that? I like that. No, I like that. They gotta have beef. Hey, man, Kevin Durant, man. I'm trying to see you on the court ASAP, man. That's fucking me. That, that's yeah. a classic, bro. Yeah. You were, like, I saw someone like, oh, yeah, that was classic. Her pussy ball with the like Stefan Marbury with the uh, GID with that one. That's a gross, by the way, disgusting metaphor. Yeah, yeah. But this biggie one, I'm in this ass while he playing against the Utah Jazz. What? Oh. So, like, his bitch, but he's all, like, out of fucking game. It kind of makes it seem like he's fucking... Yeah, like, he's, he's playing against he's the... He's like, I'm, don't worry, I'm in Karl Malone's ass, that know. creep. <laughs> Balling like Ginobili, well, yeah. <laughs> Shit get ugly like Chauncey Billups. Okay. Oh, look. You ain't a shooter. You Ben Simmons. The J don't work. <laughs> the J. Fuck Steph Curry. Yeah, Dude, that's know. crazy, bro. I cannot believe There's actually so many. First of all, whoever that V's guy is or whatever, to, to say the Tony Snow line. <laughs> this uh, one by Lil Booms, Fuck Steph Curry. Yeah, yeah. His daughter is ugly as fuck. <laughs> what? That's kind of creepy to even like judge uh, someone's daughter, right? That's good fucking sound really just like the Clippers. I like that. Wow. <laughs> KD, I ran off with them bands. 
Where your ass was at when I was starting Phenomenon? Phenoms. Only time you bought is like hair on the bra. Nah, bro. I wish you had this one. Wait, wait, wait. What? P- puffing on sour. I hurt feelings like it hurt mellow watching his wife fucking on power. And that's that's Benny the Butcher. So that's why that's why Benny had to say something because he's like, yo, me and my team, the fucking Griselda dudes are just, oh my god. Yeah, well, I ended with this one, the game. Oh yeah. Then got- I hit LeBron's mom and Bron Bron's coup with Delonte West taping. We had Bon Bon's too. With Cleveland cheerleaders, they had pom poms too. Bro, and that's in the same song where fucking Tyler says LeBron's hair uh, and, uh, uh, hairline in the fourth quarter against the Mavericks. <laughs> Dog fall back. <laughs> They're going to call Tony Montana then. and cop them shack, some shack at the free throws. Some breaks. Ah, I see. Okay. <laughs> Gave her both of these balls, Lamelo and Lonzo. That, that one hits. Saw <laughs> baby. Dude, that's Jurassic ridiculous. Giraffes and elephants. Bro. Okay. Yeah, all right. Ridiculous. Yeah, no, that's just Hobie just talking about J.R. Ryder being a fucking... Dude, you remember him, Dr. Ryder, or that story? Like he was like a fucking monster, apparently. Yeah. Dude, I hate that line. The meat the line about Kobe. That was what made me think that Meek was a weirdo. <laughs> I'm going out with my chopper if you another Kobe. Like, whoa. Shit, I could tell they ain't never know. Who thought of you? Like, who in the studio was like, yo, sick bar? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> they just. I get it, up. like Kobe. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was, I was happy you pissed at me for that. Like, yo, I think we all were. We were like, okay, okay. Because Lamar was weak, and it's like me. He talking about how this motherfucker died, and with like a bunch of other people, it was a tragedy, bro. Yeah, it was a big fucking tragedy. Jesus Christ, man. All right, so real quick, Kanye drops down to deluxe. Um, Sean Leon was on it. That's like the most important thing about it, honestly. Nah, but come on, but, like, us genuinely the, getting left to the party, like. I already had it, so I didn't care. But what I did care about was the Kid Cudi uh, remote. Like, yeah, get that it, was man. cool. That was cool. So, you know, that was something to beef up the streams, and he probably just had like, so many versions. Bro, Cudi not being on remote control would have been the saddest thing that ever happened to the world because he was like the one that made that song. Well, of course, besides the Globe Gogam Galab. I can't believe, like. Which was extended, by the way. I know. I know. I, I hated it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> they extended it so bad, dude. Who made that? I wonder who fucking made that. I have the Globe. Yeah, probably like fucking Chris Jenner. I'm the I don't know what Mike Dean tweeted it. It seems like Mike Dean was in on it. No, he was pissed about it. He tweeted it because he was like, "Look at what shit they're putting on the fucking music." I mean, he didn't say anything. He just tweeted the video. No, no, no. He tweeted it after he was talking shit about how he was being treated with his team over there. Cause he he walked away from like the album recording session. No, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it wasn't. I don't think he thought it was hard <laughs> by any means. He wasn't like, yo, yeah, this is he fire. Did. He's the he's the good good cop. That's 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 how his production sounds when he's not on Sims. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I, I like like someone in Kanye's team was like, no, don't send Kanye anything he thinks funny anymore. If something's cringe and then Kanye thinks it's funny, he, he might put it on the album. Yeah, it's it's you never know. You never know what yay. It's so bad. Yeah. Good there, God. That's guy's atrocious. But what do you think about the other music that dropped this week? Uh, what, what dropped? I mean, fucking dude, honestly, I, I really like that Christmas album by Bryson Tiller. Yeah, that was cool. That was I mean, cool I for like the holidays. Tracks, but I'm gonna have to definitely dive into the first three. A little more. The first three is actually hard. Uh, let me see. Let me see. There was. Oh yeah, Isaiah Rashard did like deluxe edition. That yeah, was that was cool. cool. Especially that he called it homies begged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And getting fucking three six on the rest in peace young was That was super sick. Yeah, the feature was dope. Exactly. Uh what Snoop Dogg dropping that one and he has like one song on it that I've heard that was really fucking good. It's called Like My Weed by Jan- J- Jane Hancock. That shit's nice. Uh what else? What else? What else? Oh the Keisha oh, yeah. EP was the old cool. Hancock. Yeah. Yeah, the cage uh, and and Lancey. Oh boy. yeah, yeah, yeah. Lancey, Lancey folks. Lancey, <laughs> aka British Cardi. Aka the motherfucker's trying to steal my swag. Whoa. Fuck that guy. So that's why I call you Lancey Foo sometimes. Hey Lancey Foo. That's cute, bro. How you doing back there? <laughs> I'm gonna let the world know about my fucking nickname. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lancey. 
No. The music was cool. It was better than the fucking movies. That's for sure. <laughs> it was better than Eternal Wing. Eternal fucking damnation. Jesus Christ, that was terrible. Big O. Nah, but it's yeah. gonna be at least all these movies we get is Spider Man. Yeah, that's not gonna miss. But did you see how they're doing a fucking um, season two of Tiger Tiger King came out? Where oh, like, dude. I'm not gonna watch it, but it's crazy how they made a whole another fucking season. Well, I, saw, I was watching like a, a second of the trailer. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't willingly really watching it. The second the trailer came on, I was at my dad's, and uh, like you can tell that they're saying something about like, oh, how they became like. Everyone became basically everyone in that shit became fucking big overnight. You know? Oh, so it's basically it's just like talking about what happened after the show. I guess. I mean, that's yeah. what it made it seem like. Like they're all like fucking like rolling in dough. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. That shit did crazy numbers. What's that guy? The funny one. <laughs> the one that 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 groomed Joe? fucking chicks into no, not fucking Joe. Dude, fuck Joe Exotic. <laughs> no, I mean, fuck all of them. But that's what I'm saying. They're all funny guys. Guy, they're fucking terrible. There's the guy who would like have the like has like all the wives. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, um, the like, blonde, isn't the his name Anthony? Where he's he's a Florida one and he has like yeah, the tigers. Yeah, fucking weirdo. Yeah, I don't know. That whole show was just so fucking. Like, oh no, we lost video. Allowed to cool. All right. <laughs> fucking J Prince, bro. Why does he look like Bald Wale? <laughs> that motherfucker's scary, bro. <laughs> Honestly. Jay Prince is fucking scary. <laughs> what? What about him? That motherfucker runs this shit. This dude. is cool. What is he? Dude, he's like the dude who found Drake. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. So he's the one who told Lil Wayne about Drake. It's Jay Prince. Oh my god. So he told he told uh he told Drake he goes. He goes, you're yeah. done if, if you don't make up with Kanye. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> because I'm... Yeah. Like, okay, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought everyone knew. That's... Okay. So you know who Larry Hoover is? Here's a fucking gangster fucking education. Larry Hoover used to run the fucking GDs, right? He was like the gang overlord. And he was still running shit from prison. Like telling them what to do and like... Like some Chapo shit. Yeah, but like the jocks from prison. Exactly, exactly. So they used to be gangster disciples, and then oh, that's what, yeah, I remember. I mean, obviously, I they know changed that. it to God's disciples. Um, but I think the original was called yeah, it was the gangster disciples. Yeah. So they now they changed it to fucking whatever. And like Kanye is supposed to be in with the J the GDs. I don't really know about that because. I mean, Let's be real. Be Chicago, because of Chicago, like that'd be it, right? Yeah, so that, they're trying to get Larry Hoover out because of this bill. I think it's called like the First Act Bill that like was signed during um, like Trump's reign or some shit that would allow him <laughs> during his reign. Uh, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> so during his pilgrimage of America. Yeah. Oh, the First Step Act. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So reform federal prisons and sentencing laws in order to reduce like whatever. Basically, stop, stop people from coming back into prison because that's like yeah. a big problem with like the system right now. You know, it's hard to fucking whatever. So they're trying to get him out on that, and Kanye's you know from Chicago, so he's in like Larry Hoover's kid somehow got in touch with Kanye. Yeah, bro, and, uh, <laughs> he's all over the album. <laughs> exactly, and then you know I guess they linked up with Jay Prince, and Jay Prince is. Jay Prince, so he told Drake, yo, you're gonna fucking make up with Kanye, and that's it. So, like, that's what I don't know, is, like, what's the beats on Jay Prince? Like, Jay Prince? I've never heard of him, and he's been around the game and shit, but, like, not to that level. I think this is, like, on a Michael Rapino like, level. Really? Of, like, because, like, influence and in music, you know? He is the CEO of Rap A Lot. I didn't even know that. Known as the person who introduced Drake to Lil Wayne, whatever, we knew that. Uh, not promoting, boom, boom, boom. I wonder what he's dangling over Drake. There has to be something. I don't even know. I don't think it's like that. <laughs> I think, no, I think. Nah, he was just like, dog, you owe me. I don't even think it's that. I think this is like the motherfucker who gave Drake, like, his fucking life, so. Oh, no, of course. Yeah, so he's like, yo, dude, come on. You remember like, that favorite you owe me? Just do this, this, and Drake... It's like, it's always going to show love to people who show love to him and, like, gave the rope. So, he was like, all right, fine, fuck it. You know? And then he did it. 
But like Jay Prince is the one who got Drake and Kanye together, you know, because no, Jay yeah, Prince met with fucking Kanye, and that's when you knew there was gonna be some type of reconciliation between like the two parties. No, it was like a fucking Godfather meeting. Yeah, exactly. Come with me on the day my daughter's wedding, asking about a Larry Hoover concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> dude, it's a uh, that's going down for sure, right? Yeah, of course, dude. Once Jay Prince posted the photo with Kanye. Saying we're working to do this concert, it was signed with Drake. <laughs> because, dude, if they're meeting, then it's like, okay, that that was literally Drake and Kanye meeting before Drake and, and Kanye. The fact that you sit down, yeah, like if they're sitting down, like come on, no. But that's the key is like, as as a fan of both artists, like obviously, dude, come on. I'm sorry, I'd refuse to pick sides in that battle because we need wolves, fuck, dude. We need wolves. That's the that's the reason. <laughs> that's the real key. But um, but like also like. Dude, Ye went to Drake's house. So it wasn't even like, oh, we're going to meet in LA. That's fine. Or like, yeah, he literally that. went to his crib where like fucking Dave Chappelle was there. Dave Chappelle is always just spitting some shit. Dude, awesome. Imagine the tension though. Yeah. No, that's I good. Mean, that's good. Because like, bro. I mean, that video dude, seemed like exactly. they were cool. Yeah. Know? Like they could have. Like, I hope they are cool for sure. Bro, like, okay, whatever. Like, you don't have to be fucking butt buddies. Like, no shit, you know? Like, yeah. But, but at the same time, like, bro, look at what all the animosity did. Obviously, it was in the 90s where there wasn't fucking... Yeah. Like, but, like, bro, maybe if someone had done that with fucking uh, Pac and Biggie, like, it would have saved some lives, you know? I don't know. Dude, yeah, because, like, the whole thing was Tupac thought it was someone from Biggie's gang. Yeah. And it wasn't. It wasn't, dude. It yeah. fucking wasn't. And then like, Snoop set, once talked died, about it. It was like... Yeah, Snoop talked about it on Rogan's uh, podcast. He was like, bro, Tupac was going crazy because he thought it was someone from Biggie's camp. And then, of course, you know, we're going to ride with our boy, Tupac. So it's, yeah. all, it's like, it's West versus East and fuck y'all. Yeah. But it's like, nobody, nobody sat down and like, you know. Yeah, that's what, that's what shit, I was. When I was hearing the, that Jay Prince was working on it, like, I was like, okay. You know, I like, thought, of thought. course. But it also, it seemed like it was more so like, just for everyone's well-being. You know? Yeah, like and it's also, I'm just tired of hearing you two talk about each other. So it's yeah, like, dude, I'm sorry. What you're gonna do a whole nother fucking album run where it's fucking like subliminals? Like get the fuck out of here, bro. Yeah, no, it's too much. You know, like that shit watered down. Like it, I thought it watered down both of their products a little of bit. Of course, you know? bro. Like no, it's like because you have Drake talking about it on the album and you have Kanye making an album because Drake's making a fucking album and it's like bro just but wait that wasn't the like the, the life of the party verse wasn't that's not the same one is it like I thought you mentioned Drake and Cuddy and shit now that was that was that must have been a different I don't remember because I don't really care for the A's verse on that yeah, but Andre Andre is like fucking baby Jesus Andre like, did that. that verse the best out of anyone on Don. Bro, like, that's the type of verse that'll make you, like, try and, like, you reconcile know, like, with your like fucking family. parents and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, you know? It was, bro. Like, dude, that shit, yeah, bro. That's like a cry, that's a cry worthy. Like, if you're in the right fucking state of mind, that shit, oh, yeah, you can cry for, for sure, sure man. man. Dude, that's, that's why he's a fucking legend, bro. He's able to tap in. Here we are in the holidays, like, yo, just remember. Very, very few. It's important to fucking love yours, you know? Yes, love you loved ones don't be fucking the grass is always greener on the other side everyone wants to think yeah don't be the baby calling your baby mama a side piece <laughs> <laughs> whether it's true or not <laughs> I mean come on the baby's got yeah, some obviously not options. well he got goombas but we know Danny was like <laughs> Danny was, <fucking laughs> was a main bro piece. you're just digging that grave brother that was not a good really look. Really I don't know why he thought. I mean, <laughs> and it's because that dude, when you're the make... source, it's the sub, like it's fucking the name. When he's like, bro. yeah, this bitch crazy. And it's like, <laughs> what are we doing, dog? That is so cringe, dog. It's so embarrassing. So embarrassing. <laughs> And then, like, him holding the baby, like, showing the camera. That was the first time the baby's ever been shown. <laughs> and it's during this the whole fucking baby. ordeal. What's his, what's his name? Like, the baby junior? <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. The baby squared. You know? Dad. As, they call him dad. The baby baby. <laughs> DBB. <laughs> the baby baby, but it's all one fucking word. The, the baby, baby baby. The baby baby. baby. <laughs> The better, the better, the better, the better. <laughs> Fucking Carter or something like that. Oh my god. That's yeah. crazy, bro. Um, so, 
<laughs> so I know. Okay. Oh, what do you know about the metaverse? What do you think? I know nothing. Do you know Justin Bieber's having a concert in the metaverse? Oh my god, no way. Justin's the first one to go. But so. <laughs> <laughs> like what like is it just like a VR world there, like, I, I, I think oh, I think dude. meta not Facebook meta I think they're already trying to implement it you know um I don't know it's fucking weird and I think we're still too far out <laughs> but they're like, they're, honestly, they're like coming out and they're like see that see that what happened on Astro World it must have been a lot it would have been a lot safer to be at home with your goggles on yeah I mean Exactly. You'd be alive to tell the story. Nah, dude, I don't know. Like, at the end of the day, my problem with all that shit, VR shit is that, like, it's still just VR. Like, if it came to the point where it was, like... It's n- for me, I think it's just too early in the technology. But, yeah, like, like, our like, grandkids, oh, they dude, could just be living sure. their lives. Yeah, they'll probably have some suit and actually you know, know feel and, like... Yeah, like, there'll be, like, a fucking trackpad, like how we have for our mouse, but, like, for your feet. And then you'll be like held on so you could walk and not like actually run into the fucking wall. And you'll just be wired in like a fucking zombie, you know, looking like Goku getting Dude, ready to fight shit. Frieza. Imagine in the, being in the pornscape down there though. Because that's a hole. That's that's downward. You're underground at that point. <laughs> you imagine? It's gonna, Dude, it's going to get weird. That's all. That's gonna get weird. The level of VR orgies. I might show up as a fucking like I don't even know, or goblin minotaur. You're like a huge Pete Davidson dick. You know, Holy shit! Just running through. He's slinging the money bag, yo, dick. Did you see that photo? What? what? Bro, it was like some photo of money bag, yo, and his girl, and she had this fucking caption that was super like. Oh my god! Yes, I did. She had, like some super like like sweet caption, and then his was like. His was some shit like, uh, court side with a bad bitch. Or yeah. Some shit. But dude, it literally looked like. But did he like, crop her out? <laughs> yeah, he cropped their, their, both 100%. Of their faces out. Though. It was both of their faces, though, so I don't think it mattered that much. Money back. Because I never went to his fucking. The photo, it literally looks like he has something in his pocket. I don't know if it got deleted or no, that is it. Oh, no. Okay. No, he didn't. He didn't. I think it was just the caption. Yeah, Bro. so he put Corsair with a bad bitch and she was like, oh my god, my healthy. Like, I love him so much. Yeah, like, just yeah. like, oh, the difference. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Tell me it doesn't look like he's got a 12 inch car. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, like, something's in his pocket. What? Like, but it's in the exact angle and shape of a fucking massive dog. No, dude, this guy has a horse car. Did you imagine? <laughs> I saw that floating on Twitter and I was like, is no one gonna, and someone said it in the comments, of course. Yeah, no, I'm sure there was a couple I got scared, ones. I thought that's why it was viral for a second. That guy's like, gonna walk around with that thing? <laughs> he puts Pete to shame! Oh god, what's fucking- There's no way that's, that's like not an issue. <laughs> no, no. Nah, dude, it couldn't be, it has to be something no, that's popular, think, right? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so for the sake of this poor girl's vagina. Dude, if that did, yeah, one that- Oh my god, RIP that pussy, for real. But Shit, like, also, man. if he gets a boner, he's passing out. <laughs> if he gets a boner, everyone on earth knows. I don't know, man. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> the I don't know. That, that looked like two fucking high moods stacked together just like in his pants. I don't know, bro. That was fucking scary. Is this his motherfucker's home? No, right? That's the metaverse he's in, right? Dude, that is his home. I wouldn't doubt him because he's in Hawaii. No, but no, that's I don't not. know, but that guy has to live in some weird fucking metaverse or something. Carter he's already Carter. in it. For Carter sure, is the metaverse. Oh, look at this. Yeah, dude. Like, but like, imagine. Never feel like it would never feel like you're there, dude. In our, I don't that's think, not true. Maybe not in our lifetime. Not, not in our like. But I don't think that's true. true. Like, I don't think I like. No, yeah, no, no. Like, like we'll do. We'll be like our life. parents being like, "What the fuck is that thing? That's not real life." And then kids are just gonna be like. Injected into like the metal. Yeah, bro, they're turning us into the Wally people, bro. It's sad. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna get scary, bro. But I, I will say, you know, if my kid does go into the metaverse and I pass on whatever, I'm gonna leave that deal with some dope ass fucking Top Shot NFTs to fucking show off. I got 3D Wade moments because shit. Here you go. Here's this NFT. Of a Look, those are like Mike Tyson's boxing gloves, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm like, what, so it's just gonna be, like, fucking Sims? Cause, just, like, no, but, like, just Sims. imagine, like, you think motherfuckers aren't gonna wanna be in Skyrim? 
<laughs> like, put it, from, think about it like that. Like, motherfuckers are, were already living in World of Warcraft. They were already living in it. Now, if you actually throw those motherfuckers in it, it's done. That's it. That's their life. Boom. And they're a fucking level 100 warlock. Well, it should be that if they die in the game, then they can never play <laughs> they it again. for real? Oh. <laughs> I want squid games with you. My bad. <laughs> My bad. So if you die in the game, that's it. You're done. Sorry. If you want to get that silly. I thought you, you wanted to be a part of the metaverse. It's like, yeah, come on. This is the price there. you pay to Zucker fuck. <laughs> you don't want to be there. Don't let him cuck you. Don't let the cucker cook. I don't know, man. And the fact that, dude, Nike's already followed like a pattern to get in the metaverse, so has Adidas. I know. It's clearly trending in the direction. It's just, I just don't see how it could just come to fruition so soon. Like, I don't know, bro. It was like, oh my god, VR. Like, when VR started, it's literally just like goggles. With fucking... Yeah, it still sucks. It te- Like I said, technology's not there, but if it was, motherfuckers would already be in it, bro. But, yeah. but for, according to Zuck, oh, cause there. dude, you didn't even see what I sent on the Instagram story, right? Nah. Fucking Mike Maylock was at the airport, and you can see some motherfucking VR that's going like this while he's sitting down on the VR in the airport. Like that's why. Like us, no. That's psycho. Us, no. <laughs> but other people, yes. Cause I other know. people are stupid. Bro, I remember when I was in New York, and there was like a fat ass line uh, just to go into the Facebook VR area. You're having exhibits? Like, oh, it's a free, like, oh, come on and try our, our VR goggles. And I was like, I remember being like, like, they're trying to get us. They're trying to, I don't want to sell my soul. I feel like I want to put that shit on my head and it's just never going to come off. Yeah, it sucks your soul out of you. <laughs> like a That's my biggest fear, bro. Those are the type of dreams that where I'm like stuck in some shit that I can't yes. get out of. <laughs> <laughs> That's shit. funny. I think I had a dream like that the other day, honestly. Where uh, I was trying to, like, those dreams where you're trying to get out and you can't are the worst. Or you're just like trying to be somewhere. It's like, time. yo, I gotta go and they're like, no. Happened to you? like, I had a dream and dude, it was so vivid. And mind you, I ended up missing Pierre at fucking, <laughs> at Rolling Loud. And I knew it too. I remember because he was, he was like way too early on a Friday and that's always the hardest day to get there. Yeah, you know, of course. Traffic, whatever. Yeah, I work, whatever. And dude, I had a dream the night before that it was like, <laughs> no matter what I did, I couldn't make it. <laughs> you know what I mean? prophecy. Like no matter what no I did, anything I tried to along the way, I got there after. Isn't that scary? Like, like when you have a dream or something I that actually true, happens. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, cause you feel like a boss, but you also feel scared. Cause like, oh shit. Moments, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. Dude. Yeah, it's creepy. Well, let me know if Emmanuel quickly ever drops eighty points, then I'm the for- forsaken one. <laughs> Emmanuel quickly. <laughs> I don't know who it was. I had a dream that no, I definitely. Why does he look like, like that, bro? Dude, I hate like, his face. He has so much money. He could like make himself look cool. You know. <laughs> you know, like look at Jeff Bezos. Look at Elon. Mark Elon got new weird. hair. Imagine, Jeff Bezos got ripped. Imagine like, Zuck with the fucking uh, with collagen lips and fucking. Uh, imagine, <laughs> imagine that Zuck was an island boy. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be perfect. I'm a mad dude, top no, boy. That would be a legit scare you dude to look at. Look at his face. It, dude, it, like a soulless, like. Yeah, fucking, right? Doesn't it just seem like he's so removed from, like, being a human? Yeah, bro. They tried to humanize him too much with the Social Network movie. I don't know. Is that what I it was? I, I still haven't watched it. Mm. And I heard it's good. It's but good I, movie, no, I would watch it for sure. No, I like, don't know. It's a recommendation, but I mean. It's not because it hasn't. It's not because oh god. It's about sucker. <laughs> That's the thing. Is like come oh my god. Guys, comments dude. are turned off. I wonder why. What are you trying to hide? Yeah, Meta does not want the world to know. What's the deep dark secrets? That's the thing. You do a Reddit dive on the Meta. What's wrong with the metaverse? Yeah, the it has people. to be like Jeffrey Epstein level of is knowledge. It that? Like yeah, right. You some know? some some satanic rituals. Yeah, like. A world and all the other ones for sure. <laughs> for sure. The A world. Yeah. That's what it is, bro. They're gonna take They're gonna they're gonna get it they're gonna try and make us scared to leave our houses. Like that's what that's it feels like, like, bro. You know? they, I feel like they were already trying to do that shit. They were definitely trying to do that shit with COVID, hundred percent. We know this. We should have stayed in for like a month and I guess, you know, <laughs> like literally quarantined but Yeah, but even whatever. Then, like it's still <laughs> 
Yeah, there was a, I mean, there like a four yeah, month like, so like mandate to where like every single place closed. Like even gas. No, you didn't, you didn't need to do four months, but the problem is if you just open it up, up to like yeah. other countries in the world and m- motherfuckers just, like come visit, then they're gonna bring the shit. So it's like, what do we even do? Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, when I was small and and neat as New England, or my bad, New Zealand. There's so much shit out there. Well, it just be like COVID free, like a fucking year and a half ago or some shit. Yeah. No, and now fucking Australia is like on total lockdown. Dude. Motherfuckers are talking about Australia like it's China. I Bro, swear to God. We're so lucky to be in fucking. In Miami too. I mean, in Florida. Yeah, Florida in general, yeah, yeah. God bless you. Like, bro, I can't even believe that there's other parts of like the country that are like have to pr- have proof of vaccination just to get into a bar or something like that. Or it's like that with the Fillmore on the beach. Well, yeah. No, I mean that. Like, like you gotta show not proof of vaccine. You either gotta show that you're vaccinated or that you're yeah, like a COVID test. Yeah, COVID they'll do free. stuff like that at concerts here and there. But like, yeah. they're just to get into any establishment. You know, yeah, no, that that's a little like crazier for sure. <laughs> that's that's a little more tight. But I mean, that's like that. He coughed. Get rid of him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the beginning that was like dumb. Oh, dude, I hate that. You're at the gym and you just a little cough. It's like, oh, bro, I smoked the bowl earlier. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Back up. <laughs> like, it's not... Not every little cough is COVID. Not every little fucking illness is COVID. Jesus Christ. I can't believe this shit is still even around, bro. Yeah, I went to that Alina Barraz concert tonight. Did not even think about it. Like, some people had a mask, but, like, whatever. Like, if you don't have your mask, Yeah, that's when it's just, like, a fashion I guess no, not to, like, go to shake your hand or something. Like, a political, like, statement or some shit to have that now? Like... No, I don't think it. Maybe for <laughs> some, because some are like that. But I, I think mean, if you're people are like, you know, if you're unvaccinated and you don't have an excuse, like you're actually like allergic or this or that, like you have no excuse to be unvaccinated. I'm sorry. Yeah, like if you're allergic, then like obviously, like you don't need to, and you, you well, shouldn't. Like, like, you know, dude. Like it's literally been almost a year since people started getting vaccinated. Like what is it? A, after years when you turn into the zombie, like I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I'm at the point where I just don't care. <laughs> like <laughs> if you're vaccinated, I, I just don't care. No, of course, but we're also yeah. vaccinated, so we're just like okay, whatever. We did our due diligence. Yeah, I, I ate the dick like an hour, like a, a year ago, or <laughs> months, or what? I was like, fuck yeah, it, I'm just getting. You want to give me a booster? Okay, I'll, I'll take it. I'd, I'd prefer to do it than have to fucking ever get COVID, like. Yeah, now they're rolling out the boosters, right? Not even because I'm scared of COVID, just because, like, all the complications it creates. What do you mean? If you uh, Oh, like, you're, you're saying they're going to make it so that you have to have a booster? Well, no, pretty much, much. But, no, it's just, like, imagine if, like, I don't know, you just take a job somewhere and then you test positive for COVID. It's like, okay, now you have to be out for two weeks. Like, uh, yeah. Just that alone, like, or, you know, like, just, yeah, just the same. social aspect of, oh, okay, all right, now... We're gonna have to do the pod up from home because what I'm gonna expose you to COVID. Like no Discord pod. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, just all, all the little logistical nightmares that it'll create. Like yeah, I, I just don't even like. I like going to shows and shit way too much to have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, COVID can eat my fucking sack. Oh, COVID, for real. COVID can eat the day. Damn, dude, it's fucking November. COVID took Kyrie from us, bro. <laughs> Kyrie took Kyrie from us. I, I don't want to hear that shit. Dude, so this is, yeah, this is like the Thanksgiving episode. That's oh, yeah. crazy. Talk shit, yeah. It is. A, yeah, give thanks, you know, <laughs> for like the fact that we don't get to see Kyrie play. Uh, what else sucks? We're thankful for you motherfuckers, straight up. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Um, the, those of you who are here. Some, some of you that are present. Watching, listening. Not our baby mama who's a fucking crazy motherfucker. <laughs> that bitch is nuts. <laughs> you got something to say about Danny Lay that I don't know about? <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Dan, she was going around the crib like, oh, tell him about how you fucking nutted in me without a condom last night, you piece of shit. Oh my god, she like, lost him. Oh, so I'm your side <laughs> chick? You just nutted side chicks? Like going like that. I'm like, she, oh shit! She 84 and purple dude. <laughs> she so was like, sorry. Then I mean, like, y'all, I'm calling the cops. And it's like, don't get me wrong, there could be a crazy chick, but also, like, don't handle it in front of the camera for your fucking Instagram story, you bum. <laughs> you look like a loser. <laughs> you know? I mean, come on, he obviously doesn't have great fucking, uh... 
PR <laughs> training. <laughs> He's not media savvy. He's a fucking media nightmare. Yeah. That guy. If you're yeah. his publicist, you literally every second. The day fact that out. his publicist is still alive in this moment is insane. With that fucking workload. The publicist has a steel chin. There's no way that they have too much anxiety or anything. Cause shit, that would have killed them by now. Right. Man, I've been having to deal with that dude, bro. <laughs> Fucking crazy. The headaches. God damn it. It's cringe. It's cringe. <laughs> so cringe. That was, that was the biggest part. It's so cringe. It's like, and why, why, why are you chewing gum so fucking loud in the camp, bro? It's like, <laughs> bro, he's raising the like that, dude. Bro. He, that doesn't apply in, like, <laughs> in this situation. So what, it only applies for him. It applies when it's able to be applied. But like chewing gum, like but that's a, my issue is like all the stupid shit he's done. It's not applicable, you know. Like the fucking AIDS rant was like not applicable at all. Like like what environment were you raised in that it's normal to just put your foot in your mouth? <laughs> oh, that's different. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't front of everyone. Yeah, no, but like, um, yeah, it's, the problem is that you can't keep on fucking up because you make the people who, like, try to be understanding of, like, how you fucked up and, like, why you didn't. Yeah, it's just like you just keep proving their point, like, it is what Yeah, it is. like, now you're just like, okay, you're making it yourself look like an ass, you know? That's just part of, that's just part of your quirkiness. <laughs> yeah, the baby's so quirky. <laughs> <laughs> You just call him the quirky, <laughs> the, the quirk, the quirk man with his little baby, the quirk, the quirky junior. Yeah, that's his fucking, that's his kill Edward. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Mr. Quirk. That's his do what he does. Oh my god. Yeah, that's hilarious. Bro. Fucking oh, ended on the baby dumbass. But anyway, Bud hit, Crawford. Hit the fucking the subscribe button. Oh yeah, shout out to Bud Crawford. He's a savage. So is Sean Porter. That is like sticking as long as he did. That was a good fight for sure. That was a great fight. And, you know, his dad felt like he needed to do what he needed to do to make sure his kid was cool. Cause I mean, he was about to get... Dude, oh. one, one more shot, he's, he, the lights are going out. He's not getting yeah, back up. It so it's like, you don't, you don't need that, you know, if you're already going to fucking lose it. Like, that round was not looking good. I don't know. Um, I heard Bob, whatever, some promoter there was gonna. He wants to make uh, Delfino Lopez and Gervonta Tank Davis fight. I think that was the one I sent it in the chat. There you go. Cause that's a, like both of those guys are fucking studs. You That'd know? be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. We need yeah, more and dude. Davis. That would be a great fight, bro. Yeah, dude. I watching Tank his last fight. I, I forgot who, who was the guy he was going against, but like the guy was getting so much bigger and he fucking destroyed him, bro. <laughs> that dude's a savage. His master class, bro. Yeah, 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 for real, for real. Boxing's boxing's in a better place, but they still gotta like work out. Yeah, it's a shit. better place than it was like five years ago, but or like three, four years ago, but still, yeah. Yeah, they honestly, they gotta they, they gotta, gotta consolidate some promotions and all come together at once. I think it's like Jake Paul running. Oh God! Let's see how he fares against a uh, real fighter's brother. <laughs> I I think he could win. You know, Tommy Tommy didn't look too clean for someone who's he's like been boxing. He's had what five fights in his life? Tommy? Yeah. Yeah, but you know, like he's a boxer. I mean, it's Fury's like, brother. He better be good. That's what I'm saying. Like he grew up in the system. Like Tommy's a boxer. If you're if you you're know? if you're a Fury brother and you lose to a Paul brother, burn him. Oh my God. Jake know. wins. Jake's gonna be talking so much shit. It's gonna be crazy. You know. Yeah, you see that's why the athletes don't look at what he did to Nick Robinson. It's like dude, Miles Garrett would fucking turn you into a fucking vegetable. <laughs> Miles Garrett. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah. Or like Dog and Sue. Yeah, he said that about the years. Like, oh my God. Is like the least physically imposing fucking. No, team. but dude, on the undercard, you saw Dan Williams and uh, oh, Frank yeah, Gore are gonna yeah. fight. That's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be wild. I, I think Frank Gore is gonna kick his ass. But dude, I saw some people going for Daring. I don't know. Maybe he's maybe he's, he's like. Been Boxing more, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but Frankie. Frank's a yeah, Frank's got some, sick, bro. He's got a little CTE Frank's. there to go with it too. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, I love Frank. Just to put it over the top. <laughs> I don't know. That that was gonna like I'm hyped for those two, honestly. Yeah, that could be cool. Yeah, I guess. That's a fun one to like 
Because the Ocho Cinco one was cool to watch, you know? Like, Ocho looked good. Besides that knockdown, he actually looked solid. So, I don't know. Let's see. The next coming weeks should be fun. Uh, what is that? Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, it's a little Yeah. But anyway, Fancy Battalion, mount the fuck up, baby. We're here. 84. Right doing now. it for that fucking Steelers baby. That fucking Vites Ramos. Yeah, boss, bitch. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on all the fucking platforms. Wake follow up, America. our Instagram. You guys follow us. Like, why not? Uh, yeah. Fuck with us. And peace.